Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Upset number two. South African fans, your dreams have come true. The Bulls will host the 2023-24 URC Grand Final after Glasgow Warriors have officially just beaten Munster 17 points to 10 in another absolutely epic uh, semi-final encounter. Maybe not as high scoring or as, uh, as sort of high octane maybe as the Leinster versus Bulls game, but a proper arm wrestle, a proper game of dogged defense and taking your chances over at Thorman Park. And uh, with that result, we will officially have a new URC champion. The Bulls versus Glasgow. That is what we will see next weekend at Loftus Festival. Time still to be confirmed, um, but um, we can worry about that next week. It's time to break down this Glasgow versus Munster game. Before we do that, smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Taking chances, that's what it is, isn't it? Um, and I thought Munster started really well, but couldn't take their chances. Um, but an early three points eventually came from Crowley after Richie Gray got sent off. Um, Crowley actually had an early opportunity, but missed, uh, which is very uncharacteristic from him. But Munster started much better than Glasgow Warriors, had go-forward ball, had early possession, but uh, good defense from Glasgow, which kind of became the hallmark of their entire sort of game. Uh, they just forced the errors. And that pressure eventually led to a ball being spilled right in front of, of Glasgow Warriors captain Carl Stein, who picked it up and ran it in from about 15 meters out in the 23rd minute under the post, Horn adding the extras. Discipline was a bit of an issue for the Glasgow Warriors. I mean, even that penalty, went, which Crowley got in the 11th minute, Glasgow Warriors were actually on the five meter line for Munster before they went penalty, 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 basically, which allowed Munster to go from being on their five meter line to having a penalty right in front, which is basically right in front of Pulse. Um, and uh, they had to try and step up. And uh, unfortunately for them, just in, before half time, a yellow card to Matt Ferguson was the second yellow card of the half with Glasgow Warriors. But importantly, during the first yellow card, they actually scored more points conceded. And uh, they didn't concede any points at all during the second red card or yellow card. Um, the massive moment came, Hugh Jones magic in the 50th minute, a deep kick after Munster actually missed the, the missed touch for a penalty. A deep kick to Josh McCarr, gave him a bit of space. Tom Jordan floating around, popping it up to Roy, um, so Jack Dempsey. Well, I think it was actually Roy Dodge. And I, was saying I, was, I think I was right there. Who uh, just quietly sort of uh, a bit of an inside step, created a bit of a gap. Hugh Jones reads the game like a book. You know, saw the space, bang, straight through, all flowing to Sebastian Cancellera, who had uh, Simon Zebo to try and outpace, and outpace him, he did. All of a sudden, Glasgow Warriors firmly in front, 14 points to three. But... Munster weren't going to die worrying, and Anton Frisch went over. Four minutes later, Crowley adding the extras to make it uh, play, take it back to a four-point game. Uh, there was then a penalty right towards the end, the 74th minute. Alex Nankerville actually getting a red card for his uh, challenge on George Horn at the base of the ruck. Um, Horn adding the extras to make it 17 points to 10, and despite Munster's best efforts, couldn't find a way back into the game. Um, it's just an incredible performance, to be honest. Um, from, from Glasgow Warriors, who, who led for 61 minutes. Uh, Munster just the 12 uh, minutes over there. And I just think that, you know, we look at the stats. It was a defensive masterclass from, from Glasgow Warriors. 90% tackle success rate. Asked to make 148, man, missing just 17. But you just look at the momentum, the knock-ons they forced, the, the moments, different players standing up throughout the match uh, to keep them in the game. And it was such a good Munster side, Ty Byrne. What a player he is. Absolutely operating. But some big performances from that Glasgow Warriors side. Let's look at some of the stats, shall we? Uh, so in terms of uh, the, the summary of the game, two tries to one, a penalty apiece, two conversions to one as well. Um, 127 carries to 117 in, for, in favor of Munster. Similar amount of line breaks. Uh, same amount of turnovers, so quite consistent. If we look at possession, 51-49, not much in it there. Territory, 53-48. sorry, 52-48. It does say 53-48, but mathematically, that makes no sense. Uh, but if we look at the set plays, scrums, 100% for Munster. Uh, not as good for uh, for Glasgow Warriors, 79%. Both um, teams operating at 75% at the lineouts. Um, if we look at the attack, post-contact meters more for Glasgow Warriors, but only just, uh, as, as we mentioned earlier, similar amount of carries. Passing for Munster far more, um, 226 passes, moving that ball around a lot, but not managing to find, um, you know, that 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 uh, penetration 
to that Glasgow defence, who had two yellow cards and he conceded 11 penalties. Munster conceding 13 penalties and that late red card. Uh, Glasgow did kick more, 25 kicks, not as many as much as we saw in the Bulls game. Uh, but if we look at some individual performances, Tupelato walked away with man in the match. He carried it 10 times um, throughout the game. I thought he was very, very good. But for me, shout out to um, Tom Jordan. I thought that the number 10, I, I watched him today and thought, that's international quality. He was absolutely brilliant. And maybe not the big, most uh, traditional fly-half type performance. He was hitting rucks. He was making tackles. He was, I think he had two or three turnovers. I'm actually going to try and find and see the turnover stature and, and see where he, uh, where he, where he is there. Uh, turnovers one. Tom Jordan with three. Three turnovers from a fly half. I mean, it's mental. He had the most turnovers in the game after t- um, uh, before Ty Byrne, who was next up with two. I mean, how's that for a fly half performance? Absolutely mental from him. Um, really good performance, though. Um, other big performances. Hugh Jones was very good. Carl Stane, one mistake, but apart from that, worked hard. The pack from, from Glasgow stood up, and I said they would probably have to. That Munster pack is very impressive. Um, but if you look at uh, tackles completed, for example, Xander Ferguson, we know the quality that he brings. 16 tackles. Matt Ferguson, 14. Tupelotta with 12. Johnny Matthews with 12. Rory Dodge with 12. Jack O'Donoghue, the only person from Munster that features in the top six of terms of tackles and stuff like that. Shows you the effort uh, that the Glasgow Warriors brought today. And Munster just weren't accurate. They had their chances. Didn't take it. Far too many knock-ons. Far too many basic mistakes. Um, and they go out of the competition. From a staffing perspective, it's good. It means that Arke Sneeman um, can get back to South Africa, join up with the Spring Mock squad uh, once they get back from uh, from Twickenham and uh, get back into full fitness over here. Uh, well, he is at full fitness, but um, um, yeah, we'll wait to see whether that. So uh, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let me know who you're backing next weekend. Bulls, Dads, or Warriors. Should be a great game. Not the final too many people would have predicted. I think a lot of people are thinking about an All-Ireland final. Not the case. And uh, there will be a lot of chat about sort of the Ireland and, and their teams not being able to get over the line, despite the fact that Munster didn't win a trophy last year. But once again, uh, Leinster coming short this year. Munster coming short now. And uh, we have another opportunity to have a potential second South African team winning the URC. Bulls in their second final. Glasgow Warriors in their first. It should be an epic encounter. We will obviously be covering it throughout the week, giving you the press conferences, bringing you the build-up. So make sure you keep it locked on Forever Sports for all the latest news and updates. Please just smash like on the video on the way out. Subscribe to the channel as well. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.